North of Toronto at his sprawling family compound, Frank Stronach agreed once again to meet the fifth estate, ready to face new questions. You've always said to me that you want to be open and honest. Yeah, yeah I talked to you. I watched your programs many times. So. We approached him with the stories of women who say they met him at his nightclub called Rooney's in the 1980s. Let's face it. I was a 19-year-old girl sitting with the 54-year-old CEO. Jane Boone was a Magna Co-op student in 1986 when she says Stronach approached her at a shareholders meeting, invited her for drinks at Rooney's with Magna executives, and then took her back to his guest house for sex. What pisses me off is that there were so many opportunities for the people who understood what was going on to intervene and none of them did. Boone says what happened to her wasn't rape, but she says it wasn't right. However, the Fifth Estate has learned others who met him at Rooney's did go to police with stories of forced sex at the hand of Stronach, including a then 20-year-old horse groomer who worked for him in 1980, her identity protected by a publication ban. I'm just a groom. I shovel manure. You know, I, nobody's going to believe me. We also talked to three young women who worked at Stronach's restaurant north of Toronto. In a way, I was uncomfortable every single time I ever had an interaction with him. The former employee, who wanted her identity protected, then told us about an incident that happened this year involving Stronic and one of her female colleagues in his car. He tried to force her to perform fellatio on him. He tried to force his hands down her pants in the car as well, but the doors were locked. She couldn't get away. We had heard a disturbing story, and I want to get your reaction to yeah. it, that you had gone into a car and you had made unwanted sexual advances uh, to this woman. I would say it's the other way around, okay? That will come up, and I got a very clear explanation, huh? Very clear. So what's the, ex what's the explanation? The truth will come out, huh? Okay? The truth will come out. Hey. Frank Stronach has remained steadfast in his denial. He says these women are either lying, they're in it for money, or they're just trying to ruin his reputation. So, Mark, we've seen uh, the charges go from 5 to 18 mm -hmm. in uh, less than four months. Any sense of whether more are coming? Yeah, well, that's, that, that's the money question. Uh, let's put this in perspective. The charges range from 1977 to 2024. Mm. Huge period of time. One of the women we spoke to said it's time for the silence to shatter. So I can tell you this, the Fifth Estate investigation remains open. The police investigators who are looking at this case say their investigation remains open. Okay. Mark Kelly, thank you. Thank you.